The Ingram angle gets results. Last night on the angle, House Intel Chairman Devin Nunez issued this ultimatum to Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and FBI Director Chris Wray. Robert Costa from The Washington Post is uh, speculating tonight on Twitter that you are on the verge of moving to hold Christopher Wray and Rod Rosenstein in contempt of Congress. And you uh, have a deadline of tomorrow, apparently, to get this information. Is this well, a I real can, possibility I, I tonight? I can tell you this. We are going to get the document. We are going to get the two pages. So they can either cough them up now or it will get really complicated starting tomorrow night. What are the chances you're going to hold them in contempt of Congress right now? Uh, well, I can just tell you that we're, we're not going to just hold in contempt. Uh, we will have a plan to hold in contempt and to impeach. To impeach Christopher Wray? Absolutely. Rod Rosen. We're not, we're not messing around here. Well, late this afternoon, the FBI and DOJ caved. A government source telling Fox News that Nunez, Congressman Trey Gowdy, and committee staffers were finally shown a largely unredacted version of that memo that triggered the FBI's Russia probe. And despite this initial reveal, sources tell Fox News tonight there are still serious questions about the underlying intel and the credibility of the sources used to initiate that Russia probe. Here to react to today's development, Republican Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio, a member of the House Oversight Committee. So, Congressman, all's well, right? The, they finally coughed up that uh, electronic communication, Shazam. the two-page yeah. document, uh, after that uh, comment last yeah. night by, uh, by Nunez well, on the show. So, all's well, right? Small step in the right direction, but, uh, you know, there's still redactions in it. And, and sort of, you know, sometimes I just go to the fundamentals. Why is it that folks in the, the Department of Justice get to see unredacted things, but members of Congress elected by the people of this great country can't see them. You know why? Because form. they say, you guys leak. They say, you guys We're cannot the elected keep the by information. The people. I wouldn't and, leak. Uh, what I know is the American people want answers, and you can't get answers to the American people to important questions that deal with their fundamental liberties if you don't have access to the information and to the documents that are, that are pertinent to the, to the investigation. Why does Christopher Ray, um, excuse me, uh, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page still have their security Same plans. issue. Same issue. Here, they're so compromised, Bob Mueller even kicked them off his team. And think about all the, the partisans on that team. He kicks them off their team, but they still have a security clearance, and members of Congress can't see documents. We get redacted. We had Mr. Lausch in, the new point person at the Department of Justice. He came now, in explain to, what he's doing. John Lausch is now the new point person. Why you need one, I don't know, because there's plenty of people over there. He's the new point person to give documents to Congress that... that that we're entitled to see. So he comes in to talk to Mr. Meadows and I yesterday, along with several other lawyers from the Department of Justice, asking four questions, four simple questions. What's the approximate universe of documents we're entitled to? What's the number? I don't know. I said, what's the standard for determining how the redactions are, are, are done? And what are the steps in how that process works? I don't know, I don't know. Which get, leads to the fourth question, and probably the most important. When are we gonna get the documents? I don't know. So my attitude is just like Devin's. If things don't change, dramatically, and I'm talking days, not weeks or months, if they don't change dramatically, then impeachment and contempt and resignation should all be on the table because we're tired of it, and more importantly, the American people are tired of it. When you say impeachment, resignation, firing, who are we talking about? We're talking about the top people. Uh, we're talking about the heads, the guys who are supposed to be running the Department of Justice, Jeff Sessions and Rod Rosenstein. They're the guys who are supposed to be in charge. They're the guys who are supposed to give us the information. Because, Laura, never forget the underlying issue here. They took a opposition research document, dressed it all up and made it look like it was legitimate intelligence, took it to a secret court to get a secret warrant to spy on a fellow citizen associated with the Trump campaign, and they didn't tell the court who paid for the document, and more importantly, in those subsequent renewals in the FISA court, they didn't tell the court that the author of that document, Christopher Steele, had his relationship terminated with the FBI. Why? Because he went and leaked to the press, not members of Congress, so he Christopher actually, Steele. So it looks like, uh, according to what you guys have seen, is that that actually struck wrote that EC or significantly contributed to that document. Again, so people understand this. We're talking about the two-page document 
that was the basis for beginning the uh, surveillance of the two Trump critical campaign. documents. There's the two page EC document that Devin is, and Craig have got to look at now. That That's what today. launched it all. That's the Papadopoulos, what I think is associated with Papadopoulos in the launch of the but investigation. Struck wrote that document or, get, or significantly directed the writing of it, is he's, what the reports were today. And he's deputy head of counterintelligence. Okay. Of he's involved right. in that, right? And, and he and, has a security And team. he's writing about insurance policies and so forth. And, with and, Lisa he, Page. and he also likely had big influence on the dossier, even though he may not have been the affidavit, even though, even okay. though he may and assigned it, he had big influence on that. What is the time frame here we're talking about? You're throwing around words like impeachment. You're throwing around words like resignation and firing. That sense All I'm saying is that all should be on the table if they're not going to improve it. We've been asking these for this information for five months, not just about the Russian... But Jeff but Sessions says he's serious about get, uh, complying. Jeff Sessions said he, he hears you. He, he hears you. He said yeah. that multiple we've times. Also, we've also asked for a, and I don't like special counsels. Uh, Lord knows, I mean. You're not getting a special But counsel. we need a second, spe we do need You're a second special. Because, again, the fundamental question is, can the FBI investigate themselves? You know who John Huber and this John Lausch, we seem like a nice guy, this, this Mr. Lausch who we met yesterday. But who do they answer to? Rod Rosenstein. Really? So the, so the employees are going to investigate their boss? That's how this is going to work? And that's going to get us the answers that the American people are demanding? If, if, I, mean, I don't think like so. If you, were, if you were the president, would you fire Rosenstein now, given where we are, all this time that's passed? I, I think all those things should be on the table. Resignation, impeachment, contempt, all those things, just like, just like Chairman Nunes. Mark Warner night. gave a comment today. Uh, he's, he's fed up with your complaints and Congress's uh, complaint about this. Let's watch. I think it's fairly typical of the way the House majority has operated, uh, frankly, outside the, the boundaries of what most of us would view would be appropriate, uh, obviously not in any sense bipartisan. I mean, when I talk to folks back home, they are fed up with the double standard. Uh, the idea that there's one set of rules for us regular people and different set for Clinton, Comey, Lynch, and, and the way that the president's been treated. And the, uh, you've got to look no further than the raid Monday in, in, in Mr. Cohen's office. Congressman Jordan, thank you for being you here. For thank tonight. you. Big news night.